Hey guys, this is Vesper and welcome to the Vesper Arcade Killer Instinct Tutorial. Before I begin, I highly suggest that you complete the basic lessons of the Dojo Mode included in the game before watching this video. You can also watch a playthrough of Dojo Mode on my channel as well by clicking here and there. In this first chapter of the tutorial, we're going to discuss the combo system of Killer Instinct, which includes openers, auto doubles, linkers, enders, and finally, manuals. Just like in most fighting games, there's hit confirms, and there's links. But in Kia, you can do massive high hitting combos with very little effort. On the same token, the opponent is not completely helpless and has the ability to break your combo. So let's discuss the breaker part later and focus on the combo part of Killer Instinct first. These are universal across the entire cast of characters in Killer Instinct. On top of this, each character has their own original way of adding to the combo system. This is known as combo traits. Let's start by explaining openers. Openers are very important. The reason it's called an opener is because you can't even begin a proper combo without it. It is the gateway to the entire flowchart. Openers are done in four main ways. The most common method is from certain special moves specific to each character. Also by doing jumping attacks. This also works if it's a cross-up. Another way is by specific command normals such as forward medium punch from Glacius. And finally, using some shadow versions of your special moves. Keep in mind that some shadow versions of special moves juggle your opponent off the ground when the regular version did it. So just because a move is an opener doesn't exactly mean the shadow version will be too. To find out what moves are openers for your character, simply go into the command list in the options menu. We can see that the wind kick and laser sword are openers. You can also check the shadow openers as well. Most of the time special moves that leave yourself and the opponent grounded are the openers. Openers start the game's combo structure, but that doesn't mean it has to be the first hit. You can actually combo into an opener by traditional ways, such as using chains, links, or cancels. Different strengths of openers alters its speed, damage, hits, and distance. This gives a variety on how you want to start your combo. Lastly, openers only count if they land. If the opponent successfully blocks, then they will not act as openers. Moving on to auto doubles. Autos for short. Autos allow you to follow up your openers with two quick automatic attacks with a single button press, hence auto double. Autos can be done using any of the six normal attack buttons. Even though you have six choices, you have three main auto types. Light autos, medium autos, and heavy autos. Let me demonstrate now using Jago's wing kick opener. Pressing light punch or light kick will do your light auto. Light autos are the fastest, but do the least amount of damage. Pressing medium punch or medium kick will do your medium auto. Medium autos are both average speed and average damage. Pressing heavy punch or heavy kick will do your heavy auto. Finally, heavy autos are the slowest type but are the most damaging. The only difference between pressing the punch or kick buttons is the animation. The speed and damage is exactly the same. Speaking of animation, something to note is that most autos are simply chaining two normal attacks together. For example, Jago's medium kick auto is his close standing medium kick and his crouching medium kick. Let me show you. Another example is Jago's heavy kick auto is his close standing heavy kick and his far standing heavy kick. Uh. 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 
Now the timing window to input your opener into an auto is pretty huge. You can input your auto as soon as the first hit frame of most openers through the active frames. You can also just mash the button <laughs> if you want as well. So let me show you three different timings, just so you have an idea on how lenient it actually is. I'll use Jago's Heavy Punch Laser Sword opener as an example, which does two hits. I'll be pressing his Park Punch auto. One thing to note is that if your opener does multiple hits, you cannot cancel into your auto early. The game will wait for all hits from your opener to conclude before going into your auto. Remember, just like I said before, if your opener doesn't land, your auto will not come out. The opponent must also still be on the ground as well. Now I'm going to show you guys multiple characters using different autos from a variety of openers. In Killer Instinct, some characters have exclusive methods of doing autos. Normally, to continue your combo after an auto, you must use a linker or an ender. Jago and Saberwolf are exceptions to this rule. Let's start with Jago. Jago has a unique combo trait called Around the World. It allows him to continue an auto with another auto in descending order by the strength of the auto used. He can do this for as long as he wants till the combo drops. So for example, after a heavy punch auto, Jago can continue with a medium punch auto. You then can continue with a light punch auto and even all the way back to a heavy punch auto and so on. It doesn't matter which auto you start with, as long as your next auto is the weaker strength. As you can see, you can also do around the row with Jago's kick autos, and even alternate between them. Lastly, each auto from around the world does two hits, and you can't cancel out the first hit. The speed you input your next auto depends on the speed of the auto you're doing. Light autos have a much smaller window to input than heavy autos. Now moving on to Saber Wolf. Saber Wolf's unique combo trait is called Rabbit Doubles. It allows him to continue an auto with the exact same auto as long as he wants till the combo drops. For example, after a heavy punch auto with Saber Wolf, he can continue with another heavy punch auto. The more reps you do, the faster the animation the next auto will be, and thus, the faster you must input it. You can mash it if you want. Keep in mind that it has to be the exact same button. So if you choose to do it with a light kick auto, for example, you must commit with using only the light kick auto. You can't alternate between punches or kicks. Finally, each auto from Rabbit Doubles naturally does two hits. You cannot cancel out the first hit. Glacius has the ability to do autos from across the screen, which greatly complements his far-reaching attacks. On top of this, Glacius is the only character with two different sets of auto animations, depending if he is close or far away from the opponent. So let's take a look using his Shatter Special move opener. That was his Heavy Punch auto. Now I'll show his Medium Punch and Light Punch. Both his far-reaching punch and kick autos have the exact same animation. In addition, the heavy auto moves the opponent away from him. The medium auto keeps the opponent in place, and finally the light auto moves the opponent towards Glacius. They also follow the standard rule that each auto does two hits and can't be cancelled out of the first hit. Now if you are close to your opponent, the game will do his standard autos instead. Rip. 
One final note is that you can only do auto doubles while standing. It doesn't matter what direction you're holding when inputting them. <laughs> 